Hey everybody, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and today I've got a haul video. A huge three-in-one haul video. Let's check it all out. So uh, this is an amazing three-in-one haul. Now I want to showcase the three-in-one, meaning this is three hauls in one, okay? Uh, this particular bag here I actually got a couple weeks ago. I just haven't gotten around to do a video on it. Uh, then this video here I did uh, last week. <clears throat> and then this I actually just got today so I, I want to be transparent in the fact that this isn't just one big shopping trip this is actually the accommodation of three shopping trips so let's get started all right guys starting with shopping trip number one now this was done several weeks ago and uh, I just so happened to be in the area and I went by the Lego store and this is what I picked up Oh, this bad boy. The Monkey King set. Set number 80024. The Legendary Flower Fruit Mountain. As some of you guys know, I am I, I really want to do a mountain range. And I saw this set. And I figured it would be an amazing set to include in that. And I really like the overall look and feel of it. So I went ahead and got this set. <clears throat> in addition to that... The Monkey Kid 80009 um, Pixies Food Truck. Looks like a really cool set. I'm really into food trucks, um, so I figured this would be a really cool set. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the, um, the pizza truck um, when, the, when it came out. Uh, I think this is a really cool uh, pig truck or, or barbecue truck. Uh, so I went ahead and I've been meaning to pick this one up for a while, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that one. Now, to be honest, I'm not really a Monkey Kid fan as far as the overall theme. However, they do have some really cool sets. So if it's something that you might be interested in, go ahead and check those out. <clears throat> the last two items in here are actually the same, okay, and it is the Harry Potter set number 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter. Uh, I really like the uh, big minifigure or the big build uh, here. Uh, I also I got two of these because of the minotaurs. I wanted to add those into like a museum um, uh, build that, I, that I'd love to get going and then I really like the tall tree for a forest. So I got two of those. Now for this set I did get these right here, these were the gift with purchase at the time. Uh, I got two of these, which are really cool, as well as two of these. So uh, yeah, this was, a, like I said, this was a few weeks ago that I got these. I'm really excited with these sets. Let's go ahead and put these back in and we can take a look at the second shopping trip. All right guys, now for the second trip. <clears throat> All right, so if you guys were a part of my live streams a couple weeks ago, or last week, uh, I had showcased the beat boxes. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I had to go down to the Lego store uh, to get this bad boy switched out which they were extremely uh amazing to help me switch these out 
Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, go ahead and check that video. It will be in the description below or tagged in the back of the video. But uh, I had to switch this out. In short, the wrong set was in the box. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds weird, but the wrong set was in the box. So they helped me out, got that all situated. And while I was there, <coughs> I picked up the Unicorn Video Beatbox. The Alien, where is it? Uh, the Alien DJ Beatbox, as well as <clears throat> the Hip Hop Robot Beatbox. Those looked cool. I liked the features in them, and I figured I only needed the three sets to complete the series, and bang, we're done. Now, what else is in here is Pab Wall. That's right. They had some cool pieces on the pad wall. In fact, this is literally all the same part. Uh, I, they got this part in, I got five cups. <coughs> Plus they threw in the extra scoop and it is the one by two, dark bluish gray. Great piece. Uh, I, w I wanted a bunch of them because I am a city builder and I like building with uh, one by bricks. And you can't go wrong with one by two light bluish or dark bluish gray bricks. So I got five cups of those and then these are the extras from the scoop. So that's it for the second trip. Let me go ahead and put all this back in and we will take a look at the last and final trip. <clears throat> All right guys, last and final trip. Nothing but pad wall pieces. I'm extremely excited for this uh, as I really enjoy pad wall. It is one of my favorite things. We actually counted up <clears throat> all the pad wall cups that I currently have minus these and I have over 350 pab cups. Yeah, that's right. 350 pab cups. Uh, I use them for sorting. I use them for drinking. Pretty much anything and everything. I may do something fun and have a pab wall shrine on this wall at some point. <clears throat> but we will see how that works out. So, let me go ahead and showcase this real quick. Now, actually before I showcase all of this... I want to give a special shout out to Sarge. Um, Sarge, thank you so much uh, for this. I met with you or met with him this morning. Um, and <clears throat> he had gone to a couple of the uh, Lego stores. And he is amazing in that he always messages me and says, Hey, I'm going to this store. Would you be interested in some cups? Let me get you some... Um, some pictures so that you can place an order and shortly after that he does so uh, it's amazing of him he also uh, tends to scoop out some deals for me which uh, was awesome so this one I am really excited these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series now oddly enough there's two Ralphs in here so we have and I apologize if I get the names wrong we have Ralph We have April O'Neil, uh, I believe, or Michelangelo with his tongue sticking out. Uh, I believe this is Leonardo. And then last but not least, Donatello. I usually get Leo and Donnie um, mixed up for whatever reason. And then here is the second Ralph. So that is really cool. <clears throat> I, I already have one or two of these, but I want to place a couple throughout my city uh, as well as have a turtle layer. The only one that I'm really missing is Splinter, and I am looking at purchasing that right now. So, uh, so that's cool. So I wanted to showcase that. Let me put these <clears throat> back in the bag. As you guys know, I am currently in the process of building a uh, subway station. 
and I am going to be putting a little tidbit of Ninja Turtles in that as well. So I'm excited for that. All right, so now to the pad cups. <clears throat> this particular pad cup, all the same part, and I got two of these cups. These are the one by two um, plates with the grooves. A lot of times these are used for windows, they're used for um, gutters, all that kind of fun stuff, decorations. Uh, I saw that these were on the pad wall and figured, hey, I would go ahead and uh, grab those. <clears throat> Next cup here is one by two, I, I guess you could call them grooves. Uh, it's a great piece for roofs, roof designs, and, and street designs. Uh, I thought these would be cool uh, to make um, some designs in my ocean. Uh, so I went ahead and got a cup of these. <clears throat> this cup right here, uh, I already have a bunch of these, but I know I'm going to go through them like crazy once I get my mountains going and my underwater going. Um, so I figured I'd need a bunch more. And these are the 1x3 flower stems. Great pieces. You can see uh, they are amazing at getting into cups. Opening this, uh, these bags up here. This cup right here is this piece. It is a 1 by I guess you call it 1 by 1 modified plate with the round on the side. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these. I've seen these um, used in roofing uh, details and grabling. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of, or a cup of that. Opening this bag up, because I am going to be rocking out uh, the uh, underwater scene, I figured I'd need some more trans clear. And the pad, this pad wall had it which I was excited about, the 1x2 Trans Clear Brick. Um, I've used these for uh, the last couple of years since I've pretty much been building um, as window pieces. Uh, I do have now a ton of window pieces, but uh, these are great um, for that kind of stuff. Again, I'm doing my underwater uh, area, uh, which I will need like my sharks to, to have trans clear to give it that that um that swimming look but i am excited for those and i got two cups plus they hooked me up with a nice bag of extras so that's great last but not least so this is a mixed <laughs> i didn't want that many uh but that's okay uh so this is a mixed cup of one by three or uh, sorry, two by three uh, plates in tan. Now, um, I got a bunch of these because I tend to, for whatever reason, I tend, when it, when it comes to my flooring, I tend to be odd. And a one by three plate, or sorry, a two by three plate uh, always comes in handy. So I got a bunch of these because they were on the pad wall. And this is a mixed bag. I also uh, asked them to get me um, some 1x2 TransClear slopes. Uh, to be honest, uh, by the time this video comes out, you guys will see my DeLorean video, and I needed a couple of these for the DeLorean build. Uh, so I only wanted kind of a handful of them, but I got more than that, and I'm actually excited for that. The reason being is because I can also use these for my underwater uh, area. Uh, and all that, so I'm extremely happy to get a bunch, and yes, they hooked me up. I mean, that's almost a full cup extra of both of those parts, so I am extremely excited about that. Looks like there might be a random part in here. What is this? Ooh, a one by two, or sorry, a two by two uh, plate, uh, black plate, so that's awesome. So I'm glad I got a bunch of those. So that's it, guys. Please comment below if you like this kind of stuff. Um, I've seen in previous videos that uh, people haven't been so open to them, so I don't know if you guys prefer that I do one big haul video every month to showcase what I've gotten the entire month, or if you want them to split them up. If I get, say, a haul once a week, 
and I post that. Let me know what you guys want to see. Because I'm all about you. Like, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys are watching and subscribing and becoming members and all the super chats and everything. It is just amazing. So thank you guys for all of that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so here is my haul. Hope you guys like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It means a lot that you've taken the time uh, to support what I do and appreciate all the effort that I put into both the videos and the streams. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. For those of you that are not members, please check out patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 B-R-I-X, and check out the packages that you could take advantage of to get more content. Have a great day. Ooh, this one's cool. Check this one out. I agree, that one's cool. This one's awesome. Ooh, I like this one. I just can't stop watching. Well, I like them all, and I'm going to subscribe. Can you do the same? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 36 Bricks.